What is going on folks? I'm Des with Despot and this is the brand new Edge 130 head unit from Garmin. So they actually announced this alongside the Edge 520 Plus, which brings mapping to one of their most popular devices and that's neat and all, but I was actually more excited about the Edge 130 because it has Strava Live segments, a barometric altimeter, and even power meter support, all for just 200 bucks. And the other interesting thing is that it's pretty darn small too, and being a mountain biker, I like my Edge 1030 because of its huge display, but it's also quite large, which makes it a little bit challenging to mount, so it's both protected as well as out of the way. And then I like my Edge 520 because of the physical buttons, but with the Edge 130 being smaller than even both of those, it should be a lot less susceptible to being broken on a crash, and then if you do break it on a crash, it's only going to be 200 bucks to replace it. So the Edge 130 comes in a few different bundling options, but today we're looking at the base model, which has the Edge 130 itself, along with the basic elastic quarter turn mount, a micro USB charging cable, a lanyard, and then a manual. I am really excited to see the new mountain bike mount, but that one's still a couple weeks from being released. But as soon as I do get my hands on one, I'll have a video out on that as well. So first impressions of the device itself is that it is super light since it only weighs 30 grams. So basically nothing. <laughs> and then this thing is also tiny. How tiny? Well, if we flip it over, we can see that it probably couldn't be much smaller since it's pretty much just as wide as the quarter turn mount on the underside. And being so small, it's gonna provide a lot more flexible mounting options than larger head units. The buttons are really clicky and very positive, and you can see that there's a nice rubberized coating on the power as well as the up and down buttons on each side, but strangely not on the bottom buttons. It still uses micro USB for charging with the pretty standard rubberized door and then a loop for the included lanyard. Pairing the device went super smoothly and took just a matter of a minute or two since I already do have Garmin Connect for all my other devices. Getting around the device is dirt simple with three stock main screens with a ride profile, notifications, and then the weather. And then you can access settings by holding the up key. So I will go through the settings in detail on my final review, but let's check out this extended display feature. So to enable the extended display feature, you'll go into settings and then scroll down until you see the extended display feature. From here, you'll go into the sensor settings on your wearable, add a new sensor, and then scroll down until you see the extended display option. It does take a couple seconds for the edge unit to respond, and then this is what it's going to look like. On top, there's going to be a total time and lap time, and then below that you'll see the first data page, and this one has four fields. It has a little bit of inconsistency with how it displays the fields, but being a new feature, I bet there's going to be a lot of updates to this in the future. Now, since my Phoenix 5X does have mapping, I was curious if it'll display it on the screen, but it only shows the heading. The heart rate widget on the wearable will show the, both the heart rate as well as the zone in a data field format rather than the widget-like format on the wearable. And then here's what a three field layout's gonna look like. Now, with something like this, there will be a few gotchas. It's gonna be limited to the five data screen limit, at least on this device, and it will be interesting to see how this will be implemented on other edge units. One thing that is awesome is that you can still change these on the fly and then the edge unit will reflect those fields. However, you'll notice that if you press an up or down key on one device or the other, it doesn't change the other unit. So initially, I was bummed about this, but after thinking about it, I actually quite like this as you can have one data page open on your wrist and then a different one on the head unit. So in actuality, I think that it's pretty cool that it doesn't mirror exactly what's on either device. So just like other sensors, once you do have it initially paired, your wearable will automatically connect to it once you enable it on the edge unit. And so far, I think it is a pretty killer feature, and I think it's going to really take the hassle out of running both a head unit as well as a watch and have to deal with the duplicate uploads and all of that nonsense. And again, all fitness wearables aren't necessarily that great for cycling because it does require you to take your hands off the handlebars and then your eyes off the road. So it's not necessarily a feature that's just for triathletes. I think it's going to be really great for cyclists who already own a compatible wearable that want to see the data right in front of them. So my first ride with it was actually a race, funny enough, and I really like the small size of this thing. It fit nice and tucked away in between my handlebar and my steer tube on my 80 millimeter stem, and although it's not quite as big a display as the 1030 or even the 520, I really quite liked it for mountain biking as it wasn't ever in the way, nor was I ever worried about it from sticking out from my handlebar like a larger computer. And then I had no problems reading it with the nice and crisp screen, which was awesome in direct sunlight. So I really like what they're doing here by offering a feature ripped option without a hefty price tag, especially if you want plenty of sensor connectivity options. And then you can save a little bit of money by forgoing a touchscreen. So over the next week or two, I will be doing a lot more testing with this and trying to cover every detail, including true up, as well as a lot of the other features. But in the meantime, go have fun in your bike and we will see you soon for a lot more on the Edge 130.